so Kaya, I guess ultimately, wow, when you're looking at schools, how did you kind of land on UW? Um, I wanted a school that had good academics and good athletics. And, um, I knew UW Madison had that. And um, I wanted to stay somewhat close to home, in the Midwest at least. And all the schools I, look, I, were, I were looking at were in the Midwest. So, um, But ultimately I just felt like most comfortable at Madison and it was just the school for me, I guess. <laughs> I mean, was it something you kind of knew right away, kind of felt as soon as you visited the campus that that was where you ultimately wanted to end up? No, uh, that was my last official visit, so I, um, going into it, I really liked Minnesota the best, and I was almost thinking of going there. And then once I visited Madison, I just knew pretty much right from there that I wanted to go there. Now, a number of your teammates for the Badgers, um, um, I think Leah Coyle from Middleton, Ashley Butler from New Glarus, uh, Megan Beers from Oregon. Uh, you know, were all girls that you ran cross country and track against. Was that something that kind of weighed into it? You know, having people you're familiar with and had you know raced, ran against previously. Is that something that kind of weighed into maybe you picking the Badgers? Yeah, it's kind of nice to know like there's local girls that went there and just to see. It's cool to see how they're doing now compared to when they're doing in high school and. I know that they're doing really well now, so it's just nice to see that like really good girls in high school do really well there too. You know, throughout um, your senior cross country season, was picking a college this fall was it something that you tried to kind of put out of your mind? Was it something that was distracting? How did how did that kind of play into your senior cross country season? Um, I was thinking about it because I started like visiting in the summer, and then um, throughout cross country on a couple of weekends we went and visited. So. Um, I was thinking of it, but it wasn't like a huge deal. It wasn't like stressing me out or anything. And then um, throughout cross country on a couple of weekends, we went and visited. So um, I was thinking of it, but it wasn't like a huge deal. It wasn't like stressing me out or anything. Coming into the high school program here at Stoughton, the girls had never won a conference title. Something you were able to accomplish, you know, your freshman, sophomore, and then junior year. Mm -hmm. You know as well as helping the team to this um, the team to state your sophomore and junior year. Yep. You know, what do those accomplishments I guess mean to you? I think it was huge. It was so much fun just coming in and um, our class really was like a huge um, contributing like factor to all that. Like we had like four like really good freshmen coming right in. And um, it was just nice to have like a team like bonding and it's just nice to have the team aspect going into it. Now, growing up, I imagine you had to start out with some some other sports. Um, you know, how, what what were you doing, kind of, you know, from a young age? You know, were there sports that you were maybe competing in before you got started with with running, and and how did you ultimately kind of settle, I guess, on running as your sport? Uh, yeah, when I was young, I really didn't know what sport like I was gonna do when I got older. I um, was in dance for a while, and I really liked that. And then um, I did gymnastics and um, basketball. And I was thinking of doing basketball in high school because that was like my main sport um, during school. But um, once seventh grade like rolled around, I really like had to pick a sport. And um, I decided to go for cross country because my mom ran in high school. And then I just loved it from there and kept going with it. What point, I guess, did kind of running in college become a possibility and then ultimately a reality for you? Um, I think like sophomore, junior year, I guess, I don't know. I just was thinking more about like my future and I really enjoyed running and I was getting better in it, so I was just thinking then of running in college. Okay. Now for the Badgers, you'll be running track and cross country? Yep. Is it, I mean, is there, obviously there's a pretty big difference between the, the two sports. I mean, do you prefer cross country? Do you prefer track? Is it pretty equal? Uh, it's pretty equal. And in track and college, it's a lot like better for me because you can do 5K, 10K, and I'm better like longer distances, so that'll definitely help me a lot. Once you, dis, you, know, you know, as you said, around sophomore, junior year, kind of decided that there was that possibility to run collegiately, did that change your focus the way you... I mean, were you more driven? Did it change your, your practice regimens? Did it make you run, you know, more during the off-season? Um, I don't think so. I think I've always been pretty driven and just self-motivated to do, like, what I need to do in the off-season to, like, help me train and help me get better. So, yeah.
now that you've decided, you know, on the Badgers going into your senior track season, I mean, is it nice to, I mean, you said it wasn't much of a distraction during cross country, but is it nice to kind of be able to just focus on running and not have to kind of be thinking about where am I going to go to college in the fall now? Yeah, it is nice just to have it down and all situated. You know, you're, you're moving up from the 4K to the 6K for cross country. You know, how does, how does that impact you as a runner? Um, I think it would just be an advantage to me because, as I said before, like the longer the better for me. So I'm just excited to be able to run longer. When you, when you took the visit to Madison, how much, you know, how much time did you, did you spend much time with your teammates? Did you, you know, what was kind of your take, that, I guess, on your coaches? Um, that was a shorter visit, so I didn't get to spend as much time as the other ones, but um, I, yeah, I, the coach is really nice, and um, his coaching style seems really good. So, Being a freshman coming into a program such as the Badgers, what do you kind of envision your role on the team being, and you know, how do you expect to contribute? Um, I'm really not sure yet. I'm hoping to make like the traveling team, which is top 12. So that'd be a huge goal, and that'd be awesome to make. Any plans for a major yet? I'm thinking kinesiology. I'm hoping to be a physical therapist. Coming into your final track season here at uh, Stoughton, I mean, is it is it kind of hitting you at this point that you know your prep career is kind of coming to an end here, and you're kind of going to be moving on to bigger challenges, or does that really hit you? You think somewhere during the track season? No, I've definitely thought about it. It's weird to think that this is my last season ever. So. You know, what, give it all. What's kind of your goal, I guess, exiting the program? What do you kind of hope to do senior track season? I definitely want to break 11. <laughs> I tried that last year, but that didn't happen, so hopefully this year. You know, any expectations for state or, you know, running the mile, the two mile there? or? Um, definitely running the two mile, and then the mile and the sea, like how my times are. Um, but, you know, I just love to break 11 and just do as best I could win it, hopefully. <laughs> when you kind of look back on the four years here and kind of the, the things that you've accomplished at, at Stowe in high school, you know, what would you want your kind of your teammates and your coaches to remember about you or, you know, say about you ultimately? Um, I don't know, I just had a great time and I'm like thankful for all the opportunities I had and it was just a blast. You know, obviously your mom, who you mentioned, ran at Stowe and was, you know, has been a big influence on you. Mm -hmm. I mean, you beat her her school record two mile. You know what what does that mean to you? You know, breaking your mom's your mom's mark. It was really exciting. I never knew going into that 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 would happen. Um, so it's kind of a surprise, and she was thankful and happy for me. So it was just really fun. All right. Well, thanks a lot, and good luck this fall, I guess, at UW Madison. Thank you.